What is the scoop, my J-Rock stars, J-Rock X back in the building, you already know. I know I'm kind of skipping right into this duel. I don't, it's, it's because I was trying to do the intro and then the intro wouldn't work and then like it did work and then for some reason it stopped working and so many different reasons. I just, I, ah, uh, ah, uh, a little frustrated, a little frustrated. It's okay though, it's all good. Um, we're gonna get this duel going though. Um, Bastion versus Chaz. Okay, so what happened is a while ago Chaz lost to Jaden. And then like these guys, they were saying, Chaz, you don't belong sitting over here with us um, in the obelisk blue like section of like, you know, like their assigned season ish like that. So uh, Dr. Crawler said that if Chaz loses to uh, Bastion Masawa, who is me right here, um, if he loses to him, then Chaz has to go and, or they're gonna switch dorms. Chaz is gonna go to raw yellow and, what the shellfish? Oh. Well, that wasn't very nice. Still gonna bring him back. <laughs> All right. Um, so, uh, Jaden and Cyrus, they both go to uh, Bastion's room. I don't remember how they went to Bastion's room. I guess because Bastion was talking about the formulas and all this stuff. So, all the formulas that were already on Bastion's wall, he said that he already memorized. So, Jaden and Cyrus helped Bastion pretty much clean his whole entire room. They repainted all of his walls, but they left like his desk and stuff like that outside of the room. Um, Jaden, Bastion, and Cyrus go back to the red dorm. They sleep there. Chaz sneaks in, takes Bastion's deck, throws it in the water. Um, I think it's the cafeteria lady. Comes up to Jaden uh, in the morning and tells him, I don't understand what just happened. Whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened just now? Hold up. Wait, wait. Everything stop. Everything stop. Everything stop. This card can be normal someone understand by discarding all other cards in your hand and tributing one that you control with 200 or less attack points. This card gains 200 for each monster your opponent controls. This card loses 500 for each other monster you control. So he's at 30. Oh, okay. And in this card, if your opponent controls at least two or more monsters than you do, you can special summon this from your hand. Wow. Well, excuse me. Um, the only thing that I can do is put. Oh, what the heck was I doing? Is put this in defense mode. And uh, oh my God, mystical space typhoon is gonna get on my nerves. Mystical? Magical? Mystical? Yeah. Um. So they go down and they find out that, uh, listen to me getting off topic. They go and they find out that the cards are actually Bastions. They assume whoever Bastion has to do is the one that, you know, do the cards away. So they go to, yes, yeah, up, the, up, yes, come on, yes, let's do it, Jesus. Um, they go to the duel. Um, nice, call the haunted destroyed. That's good, that was good. Um, they find out that he's getting ready to duel with Chaz, and they're like, oh, Chaz must have been the one that did it. Chaz denies it. Alexa says that he saw him. Yippee yop yop yop. Chaz is like, well, here, I got this strong deck. You know, there's no way in the world you're going to beat me, especially with your cards at float. And he's like, well, that would be true if I only had um, one deck. And then, like, opens up his vest, and he's got, like, six of them. Um, so after that, he decides that he is going to, next turn, I'm going to win. He decides, um... He's gonna use this deck. I guess he called it his water deck, I'm pretty sure. Um, and you'll see the outcome after this. I just wanna make sure I get you guys caught up. Sorry that it's like in the middle of, um, the middle of, or not necessarily the middle of the duel, but the very beginning of the duel, so you missed all the front dialogue. But, oh, can you bring that back? You suck right now. No, do not continue the attack. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Um, but what I am going to do, is I'm going to do this, 
Obviously, I'm not getting freaking whatchamacallit. Like, it's not happening. I'm not getting the water dragon. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. No? Nothing? Well, that's the end of the game. Don't spank you. Play the music. Boom, dun, 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 dun. Well do uh well played duel, Chaz. But not well enough. Pure luck. You drew a lucky card and stumbled into a win, that's all. Perhaps. But luck favors the prepared uh, oh, what? Luck favors the prepared. And I was prepared to beat you with half with a half dozen other cards as well. <clears throat> Sorry, you would have lost one way or the other. Chaz, you stole, you lied, you cheated, and you lost. You deserve to be demoted. No, this can't be. And I will definitely be playing the reverse duel of that. Got some good warrior cards from there too. All right, Doomsday Duel. Chancellor Shepard, yo, he's the, yo, Chancellor Shepard's a funny guy. Anyway, the chief administrator of Duel Academy called Jaden, Bastion, Alexis, Chaz, Dr. Crawler, Professor Banner, and Zane to his office. He wanted to warn them about the Shadow Riders and the power that the three Sacred Beast cards, the power of the three Sacred Beast cards, three Sacred what cards? Sacred Beast cards. He's got like a real like worried old fat guy voice too. <laughs> Due to the immense power, their counselor their colossal might, I said counselor, wow. Their colossal might, they are hidden here at the academy. You see, this academy was built in part, was built in part to protect the sacred beast cards. They were buried deep underground, their power sealed safely away. Legend says, if these cards ever see the light of day, terrible things will happen. Our world will be no more. No more? <laughs> So this is why seven of you are here, to protect these three cards from the Wicked Ones. The Wicked Ones? Yes. Seven duelists known as the Shadow Riders who covet, who covet these cards. I've heard of these Shadow Riders. They are no joke. You must be careful. Professor Banner is the truth, by the way. Um, okay, so how do we protect these cards? By protecting seven spirit keys. To get these, to get to the cards, one must unlock these gates. And to unlock the gates, you must gain one must gain the seven keys for the seven gates. This is how we will protect those cards by protecting the keys. Oh, look at the keys. Oh. And here they are. One for each of you to guard. Children, it is an, it is an important responsibility for me as well. We hold the keys. Won't that make us targets? It's true. With these keys, the Shadow Riders will seek you out. Uh, seek us out? You mean take us out? Only in a duel. Fortunately for our, uh, fortunately for our side, the keys can't simply be stolen. The ancient, the ancient Indic, I don't know how to say the word, commands that the keys must be won in a duel. And so, I've called, I've called on the school's seven best to take up this challenge and fight the good fight. Later that evening, Jaden and Alexis were trans were transported. Yeah, were transported to a volcano where they encountered the first Shadow Rider. Where are we? On one where on one very weird dream or nightmare. Ha 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 ha! It's neither. What's going on? You mean you don't know? Call me a slow learner. Call me Night Shroud. I think that's how you say his name, Night Shroud. I'll be the one taking the key from you, taking that key you have around your neck. Wow, you guys don't waste time, do you? I'll get that key. I'll get it now. Oh, and just to make sure of that, I brought friends. What do you mean? Say hello to Cyrus and Chumley. Looks like they're, looks like they're in hot water. Or may oh man, did I really just do that? A shadow game. Let's just, just duel me. Let them go. I don't think so. I need to ensure a speedy match. After all, that protection orb they are that pro ah, ah, after all, that protection orb they're in. Let's just say that it's not exactly built to last. Oh, and I'm afraid there's one more. 
Also at stake is your soul, which will be sealed in this card when when you lose. Of course, it's of course if I lose, then my soul will be sealed. Hey, oh sorry, but hey, let's be honest with ourselves. Me lose? No way. Now then, shall we? You can't agree to this. Tell that to Chum. Tell that to Cyrus and Chumley. They're about to become meatballs in a lava stew. <laughs> They're my friends, and I'm not gonna let anything happen to them or us. Besides, it's not only my first. This is not, it's not like this is my first shadow game. I'm just hoping it doesn't hurt as bad as the others. Okay, pal, you want a duel? You got it. Let's throw down. Get your game on. Whew. I don't know why I was struggling to read that so much. I'm very, very tired. The boy is mad hungry. I'm not using that as an excuse. I'm just telling you facts, I guess. <coughs> After this duel, we'll stop the episode. I don't want it to portray too, too long, even though some of my other Yu-Gi-Oh! Episodes have portrayed very, very long. Hey, e emergency call. He already has the red eyes black dragon in his hand. He has two red eyes black dragon in his hands. It'd be mad cool if, um, spear dragon. Okay. It'd be mad cool if, um, how you have blue eyes ultimate dragon. There could be a uh, red eyes ultimate dragon. That'd be kind of cool. All right. So. First off, what's in the fusion deck? I'm think Shining Flare. Oh, Wild Edge is in here. I don't remember him using Wild Edge this early in the game. Tempest is in here though. Okay, Rampart Blaster is in here. Mudball Man is in here. Flame Wind Man is obviously in here. Okay. So how about we do this? Tempest, I need Avion, Spark Man, and Bubble Man. I would rather have Wild Edge out here on the field. Now, Wild Edge, this card can attack every monster your opponent controls. One attack for each monster during the battle phase. Let's do that then. Let's not even wait. So, e emergency call. Let me get Blade Edge. And then, e emergency call again. Let me get Wild Heart. And then I'm gonna use polymerization and bring Wild Heart to the field. Fusing together Wild Heart and Blade Edge to create Wild Edge. Whoa, I don't know what sound Wild Edge makes. <laughs> I don't remember what sound he makes. You successfully special summon a monster, activate what card? No, we're not activating Deep Fusion. You better get that BS out of here. Oh, damn it. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Crap, man. I'm already messing up. Well, no. What I was going to do is I was going to summon um, Percentatrix also. And then put out Skyscraper. That way Percentatrix could have killed him and Wildheart could have attacked directly. Adios mio. Bring this wild wild heart to the field he's not affected by trap cards I'm just I don't know what that card is it'd be funny if it's mirror force no it's called the haunted great I damn it can I activate skyscraper now of course not be way too easy if I could I can't activate it during the battle phase at all oh, your call the haunted is being wasted son Alright man, I have to be I have to be better. I have to be better, because right now I'm kinda sucking. Technically I could have like that's I probably could have won by now actually. Red eyes black chick. You can send this face up oh <laughs> just great. Huh? <gasps> Sorry, I haven't seen it in so long. <laughs> Sacrifice and red eyes black dragon? Red Eyes Darkness. I forgot what you do. Is it for... Let's summon. Gains 300 for every dragon in your graveyard. Hmm. Okay. That's yeah, cool. Nope. It's cool. I got the plan now. I don't plan on messing up. Alright, I'm going to bring up Percentatrix. Then I'm going to activate Skyscraper. I should still have enough. Yep, I do. 
I'm gonna use Wildest to attack you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're good. We might have just won this duel. Let me not speak too soon. And this duel is kind of fast. It's kind of going my fast. I mean, it's a good thing. Jesus, the face down cards. The face down cards. Reborn the monster? What monster would I reborn? I could bring the red eyes black dragon on my side. Or I could bring blade edge on my side. I'm not going to do that. I'm bringing the red eyes black dragon on my side. And the reason why I'm saying that is because if I put, um... I want to be able to use Diffusion just in case. I don't think I'm going to need it, but in case it comes down to that and I take a dragon out of your graveyard, so I should have attacked with Wild Edge first. I should have attacked with... Oh, no, I'm good. I don't know. I'm assuming that that's another Call of the Haunted, that face down card. Game! Sing the song! Yep, that's game. Sigh, Chumley. Jaden collapsed on the ground. Everyone else was transported outside of the volcano. We're alive. What the? He did it. Jaden did it. Yeah, but where is Jaden? Look over there. Jaden, wake up. He's not moving. Come on, Jay. Sigh, he's fine. Tired, maybe, but... Who can blame him? Not me. I'm tired, and I didn't do anything. <laughs> so lazy, Chumley. He's okay, which is more than I can say for Night Shroud. Alexis noticed another body laying in the distance. Alexis. It can't be. It's him. I thought I lost him, but he's back. He's finally back. My brother is back. The car took away whatever darkness he was, ah, whatever darkness was holding him. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end the episode right there. I, uh, oh man, this card, I forgot what it does, I used to use it a lot though in the past, um, yeah, so we're gonna end it right there, uh, next episode we're gonna do Field of Screams, I'm pretty sure that's when we fight the Vampire Lady, um, but you know, I'll take care of these reverse duels on my own time, well, make sure you guys like the video, share it up with your friends, subscribe for some more, and I'll see you guys in the next one, take care, be safe, peace!